I'm at Little Prince of Oregon today with their head grower, Mike Hicks. And Mike, you know, we know Little Prince of Oregon for all the wonderful plants that we show at, little, at uh, Garden Time and at all the garden centers, but you're really going to tell us about how we get to all those beautiful plants. So here I have some plugs, and so you start little baby plants like that. And mm -hmm. so these are so clean. I mean, the foliage is beautiful. I don't see any kind of insects flying around. So how do you get to that? Well, it's all part of our IPM program, which is Integrated Pest Management. And it basically, it really starts with cultural practices. So we start with as clean as we possibly can be. We start with sanitation, uh, just keeping everything as clean as we can to give the plants the best start that we can start with. And you really have some really skilled staff. Everybody's trained to water correctly, make sure that um, there's no insects. And so what if you see like one or two bad plants? Do you just like leave them or do you dump them right away? Well, first off, we really need to identify what that pest is. Because just because you see an insect doesn't necessarily mean ah, that it's bad. Sure. It could be good. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, if we find one and we've identified it and we say, you know what, that's an aphid. We don't want that aphid mm -hmm. around in here. And we, there's only one or two containers there. We'll just cull it out and throw it in the trash. Mm -hmm. And so I see that um, in a lot of different places have those little yellow cards. So is that kind of like an indicator? Do you kind of see exactly what's going on? Yeah, that's one of the techniques that we use out here. The yellow sticky cards will attract some of your flying pests, but it's more than that. It really comes down to our training of our staff. So everybody mm -hmm. that has an eye on the plant out here is looking for that. They're saying, hey, because I only have two eyes, I can only see so many, so many plants sure, out here. Sure. So the more eyes we have on everything, the better off we're going to be to find that problem early on and spot that problem early on. So if you see something, do you spray it right away or are there other tools in your toolbox there? Yeah, no. Spraying in an IPM program is really the last resort. Ah. So the first thing is we talked about sanitation, cleanliness, then you go to identifying it, then you go to removal if you can, and then at that point we start adding beneficial insects into our system. Ah, and is that what's in that canister? Yes, this is one of them. This is Delosia. It's for uh, thrips, uh, fungus gnats, short flies. It's just one of them. We use numerous, probably about 10 different ones. So say you see some insects on a mature plant, is that when you start putting the beneficials? No, actually we start a lot earlier than that. Okay. So we're in our plug house right now. Okay. And what we do is we do a lot of preventative beneficial insect applications. And that starts when they're young like okay. this in our propagation houses, in our plug ranges like this. We release almost exclusively beneficial insects in here. Wow. And that is our control methods for here. And the theory is, is that as we're potting these plugs into this finished product, we're taking our beneficial insect populations that we've established on our plugs planting them up into our finished containers and then sending them out to our 80 different plug or greenhouses throughout the nursery. And the hope is, is that we're going to start establishing our beneficial insect populations in our finished ranges out there so that we still have the good control that we get inside these plug ranges and our propagation houses continues on into the finished product. Wow, and I see so many different finished products. I mean, I see succulents, I see your containers for the fall, I see these ferns, house plants. You have so many different kinds of plants and really these beneficial insects are everywhere. Yeah, we hope that we've really established them in a lot of different products and all of the products that we send out. So Mike, if I take one of these to my garden, will I get some beneficials? Well, definitely good. Ah, well, you know, take a lead from the experts at Little Prince. So in your own garden, make sure that you know the pests that you are going to be treating for and spray as a last resort. And really take some Little Prince home to your garden. Thanks so much. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate it.